What a wonderful day. Isn't this great? Oh, there's a nice gentle breeze as well. Wonderful. Isn't this great? I love walking and appreciating the great outdoors. It's really great, right? Mmm, okay. Great. Man, I really gotta get busy. I have a lot on my mind. I'm turning over quite a few interesting ideas in my mind. It really is a lovely day. It just feels great. Okay. Let's see here. What do I have to do today? The breeze is so refreshing I lost my train of thought. A gentle breeze really brings a general sense of well-being to me. It's the same kind of feeling I get when I go to my local gentleman's club. Ah, the gentleman's club. A fine establishment indeed. It's a great way to spend one's time. My only hobby, really. Oh, they rinsed me down there, though. That place cleaned me out. It didn't help that I used to spend my entire paycheck every time I went in. Those girls can be quite manipulative. The girls are only interested in money. That's what I figured out at the end. I had to stop going. It was becoming a problem, you know? I had to see professional counseling to stop. Too bad there's not a gentleman's club anonymous or something or else I'd go. Maybe I can start one. Other people must have this problem as well. Well... Maybe one day if I get rich, I can go back, but for now I gotta keep away. Talk about a dream life. Imagine if I hit it rich. I'd spend the whole day at the gentleman's club. I gotta make that happen. I got 86 from a few joints. You know, comes with the territory, I suppose. I just couldn't bring myself to leave. I think my record was two months. I went every day for two months. I stopped spending money. Not that I wouldn't spend it. Trust me, I would. I just ran out. It's not cheap, you know. I just wanted to hang around. You know, freeload. But they weren't having it. Not my fault I'm broke. Well, it is, but you know what I'm saying. I really gotta strike it rich. Maybe I can open my own club. Call it Frederick's after myself. If there's one thing I know about, it's gentlemen's clubs. Yup. That's the one thing I know about. I'm ignorant about most other things. Pretty much everything. But I'm an expert in that profession. You know, exotic dancing. I spent my life savings at those clubs. They're a real money pit, if you know what I'm saying. You can spend around three, four hundred dollars in an hour without even thinking about it. Especially if you're under the influence of various substances. Like I am most of the time. Notably crystal meth. Like I said, the girls can be quite manipulative. They don't really love you. That's what I figured out in the end. But those days are behind me. For now, anyway. I'm turning over a new leaf. Becoming a new man. I can't just spend all my money at the clubs. I mean, I kick myself now to think about how I could have used that money. If I invested 10% of what I spent at those places over the years, well, I'd have a small fortune. 
We're talking tens of thousands. It's no use thinking about past mistakes. You know I do that a lot. I think about my past mistakes all the time. I don't know why that is. Well, anyway, that chapter of my life is over. I can't go back. They blackballed me anyway at most of the clubs. The bouncers all know my name. I even told a few club owners to refuse my business if I decided to go back. Like I said, it sort of became a problem. One time at the club, I spent 1101 hour. The girls looked at me like a cash register. I don't have that kind of money. Luckily, I put the majority of the money on credit cards. I owe a whole lot of money. I have to say, it did impact my credit score. But who cares about that, right? It's a stupid number that's meaningless. Stealing from credit card companies is the best move I've ever made. If only I had more cards, I could have stayed at the club for weeks on end, all on their dime. You may think I'm unethical from stealing from the credit card companies, but who's the one charging 20% interest? You know what I'm saying? It's just a little game I play with the credit card companies. Nothing malicious. It's kind of tongue-in-cheek, you know? I do it for a laugh for my personal amusement. It's great fun. Oh, I can't get a credit card anymore. Apparently, all the companies share this kind of information. I think my credit score is in the 50s or something. Apparently, I'm in the bottom percentile. Makes no difference to me. But there are few things in life that are more enjoyable than spending money that's not yours at the Gentleman's Club. I highly recommend it. It's one crime I've managed to get away with. You know, you can't get in trouble for not paying off your credit card. Not by the law, anyway. You just have to say you're bankrupt. I don't even have to lie. Like I said, the club's bankrupt me. Aw oh man, I really gotta strike it rich. Why am I so disastrous when it comes to money? I can never hold on to it. I mean, the minute I have $10 in my pocket, I'm spending 20 I'm a spendthrift. I mean, I used to think about going back to the clubs and using counterfeit bills. I own a color printer. I don't see how they make a distinction between real and fake money. I haven't gone through with that yet, though. Man, if only life were that easy, I wouldn't have a care in the world. I'd just be able to go to my clubs in peace. But, you know, I guess that's life, I suppose. Oh, I've tried to get rich, but nothing ever works out. It's actually harder than it seems, making money. If only I had a talent for making money, it would really help me, you know, with my hobby. I'm just no good at making money. That's really why I want to take a stroll this morning, to figure some things out. I'm turning over quite a few ideas in my mind. Okay. My word, it's a marvelous day. What's the plans for today? Nothing. I ain't got a care in the world. Nothing on my plate but the cool summer breeze. Okay, what should I do today? Let's go grab some nice coffee this morning. I need a caffeine boost. Okay, got my coffee. I don't know what they do to it, but man, is this great! This plus the meth from last night really has me wired up. I could run a marathon or something. I'm jacked out of my bird. Okay, now what to do today? Good question. The day is like an empty canvas with which my brush can start painting. Okay, no, seriously, we have to get busy. I can't keep pissing the days away. I'm damn near 40 without a dollar to my name. I ought to make something of myself. Maybe I'll go down to the cafe and try to get a job. The last time I went down there to fill out an application was bad, man. I went in there and asked for an application and the guy looked at me like I was homeless. Okay, maybe I didn't have a shave or wash up that day. I gotta remember to wash up. But you know, to judge someone off of their appearance is just rude. It's not very nice. It's not great manners. Okay. I'll go down to the cafe yet again to apply for a job. Why the hell does everyone always turn me down? I mean, I'm energetic. I'm creative. I love coffee. I don't get it. Maybe because it says on my resume that I got fired from my last position for inciting a riot. 
Yeah, maybe I should cross that part out. Okay, so let's cross this out. You know what? This damn thing sucks. Okay, relax, Freddy. Take it easy. Settle down. I'm just going to go to the coffee shop and apply. No resume. Why should I tell them about my checkered past? My past is checkered at best. Inciting a riot was just one incident. No, but inciting a riot, that was great. That was the best. Cost the township like 200 grand when all is said and done. That's the best part. Inciting that riot was the best thing I've ever done. I made a name for myself in the community. You know what would be great? What if I started an underground movement, like an anti-authority movement? It would be great to start a movement. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll start some kind of movement, just to create anarchy and general chaos. I'm telling ya, I'm on to something with this anti-authority movement. Oh yes, I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to start a movement. I'm going to start thinking of ways to cost the township money. I'll do it just for kicks, man. Just for my own amusement. What would be my first act of chaos? Well, I would have to assemble a team first. I know of some guys. My buddy Carl. Yeah, that guy is great. I remember he once shot a bunch of fireworks at people for no reason. You know, like bottle rockets. He just blasted a huge crowd of people just for kicks. Carl's a wonderful guy. He's a great man. Man, it's going to be great. I'll give Carl a ring later today. He'll join, man. He's a hellraiser. After that, we'll really screw this town up. The first thing we'll do, let's see, what can we do? I want the residents pissed off. We can throw eggs at people. That would be great, wouldn't it? I mean, what if we made national news? Two young men are wanted for throwing eggs at random strangers. What if we never got caught and it goes on until the FBI are involved? We'd be legends. I honestly don't know where I come up with this. It's great, though. Man, I am clever. If I actually put my brain to good use, I could probably win a Nobel Prize or something. What else can we do? I bet Carl has some ideas. He's brilliant with this stuff. He's the greatest con man slash thief I know. Of course, they did eventually bust Carl. The cops aren't that inept, you know? What did he do again to get caught? Oh, yeah. He lit a bunch of municipal buildings on fire. Said he was fed up with the township or something. Something about his electricity bill. Said they overcharged him. That's the best part. It had nothing to do with the township. He just wanted to take his anger out on something. What else can we do, our group? What are we going to be called? Oh, man, we gotta have a cool name. Man, if it sounds stupid, I don't want to even be a member. The whole point of the group is to make it cool, so others will want to join and we can create anarchy. I gotta make it sound cool. It means a lot to me. Whatever. Carl will sort that out. Okay, so we can throw eggs at people. What else? Oh, man, I'm loving this idea. It's really gaining steam now, man. This is freaking wild. I'm freaking jazz from this coffee. The meth is wearing off, though. Gotta do some more soon. My freaking dealer, though. That guy's not reliable. Sometimes I can't get that guy on the phone for weeks. I mean, he really doesn't put the customer first. Okay, so we got the eggs thing, which is pretty cruel now that I'm thinking about it. I wouldn't want an egg thrown at me. I'd try to avoid that kind of thing happening if I could, you know? It would be pretty upsetting to have an egg thrown at me. I don't think I'd like that. Okay, the eggs thing is off for now. Too cruel. Hilarious, I admit, but too cruel. It would be great though, wouldn't it? Just tossing eggs at strangers for no reason. The cops would try to figure it out. We'd waste town resources on this foolishness. Sounds brilliant. This is the goal of the gang, to cause anarchy and chaos. Complete destruction of property and people's sense of well-being. I'm going to think about that one. It's a great idea. 
I want national news. What else? What else? We can go to the grocery store and knock over stuff. Cause thousands of dollars of damage. Can you imagine the potential for destruction? Carl will get a kick out of that. I remember once, Carl and I went into a grocery store and he cooked himself breakfast. I mean, he stole a bunch of eggs and bacon right out of the fridge and cooked breakfast right in the store. He even used the store appliances. I don't know how he did it. They didn't even catch him. I'm telling you, Carl is a legend. A world-class guy. Man, this is fun. I love thinking of this stuff. I want to think big. I want the people of this town to really get annoyed. I want people to leave town. How can I cause major problems in this town? I want to end this town. I mean, end it. I want absolute chaos and disorder. I want the National Guard to be called in. I want national news. That's what I want. That's the goal. Man, I could use a fix. If only I knew how to cook meth. I have to look that up on the internet. Maybe I can sell it as well. Could be quite a lucrative enterprise selling drugs. I have to look into that. But then I might have to deal with jail. Oh, I don't think I'd do well in prison. Or maybe I would. Hell, maybe, and this is just a thought, maybe I'll thrive in jail. What if I go to jail and it ends up being the best thing that ever happened to me? Think about it. Three square meals a day. Interesting stories from all the inmates. The stories would be worth it alone. Loads of books to read. Maybe I'll become a scholar in jail. Wait a minute. That's a thought. You know, I never really thought of that. Prison. I mean, jail wouldn't be so bad, would it? You know, I could become a world-class bank robber or something. I mean, world-class. They can train me in there. I'm sure those guys can educate me. You know, show me the tricks of the trade. It's a thought, isn't it? I mean, it beats whatever the hell I'm doing now. I'm heading for jail anyway. Might as well just go now. I mean, look at the state I'm in. I keep getting turned down at the cafe. Jail would be much nicer. Besides, there's basketball. There's weightlifting. There's books. On top of that, I could become a world-class criminal. Imagine being in jail all day. All you talk about is crime. My word, it could be quite lucrative. Quite lucrative indeed. It's quite a proposition. Some of those guys can probably teach me how to cook meth. It's an ambition I've had for quite some time. I wonder if these thoughts go through the minds of people at their trial. I mean, it ain't too bad of a deal if you ask me, doing time. I'll even go a step further. It could be a very rewarding experience. I mean, the books alone. I could become an intellectual. Matter of fact, this jail thing is getting more and more appealing. There is that shower part. I'm not particularly keen about I think that only happens in movies. I have to look that up on the internet if the shower thing is real. Oh, that would be rough. But not intolerable. I've been through worse. I'm telling you, jail would be all right though, you know? I'll probably meet some nice down-to-earth people. Maybe I'd have a great social life in there. You know, join a gang or something. Yes, it sounds like great fun. Great fun indeed. Now I understand how people could become institutionalized. I can see it now. Lifelong friends, basketball, weightlifting, joining a gang. Sounds stimulating. It really does. That's it. I'm going. I've talked myself into it. I'm going. Okay. Man, I really have to get something done. Jill can wait for now. I don't want to piss the day away. I piss every day away, it seems. Why am I so unmotivated? Okay, now what? Okay, call up Carl. Carl! How the hell are you, man? Carl, it's Frederick. Freddy. <laughs> how the hell are you? Yeah, how the hell are you, you old con artist? You, you, you son of a bitch, you. It's going wonderful. It's going great. I had a great cup of coffee this morning. It's going brilliant. How are you? Alaska? That's brilliant, man. What the hell are you doing up there? Ice fishing. 
Sounds wonderful. Sounds just great. Right up your alley, man. Catching fish on the frozen river just sounds great. Hey, man, I gotta see you soon, man. I wanna start a movement. It's a gang, man. I wanna cost this town money. I, I wanna do as much damage to this town as I can. You know, like outlaws. Yeah, man, you gotta join. It would be the coolest. Why can't you leave the state? Why'd you do that? Man, you lit his house on fire? Oh man, you are a jokester, man. Okay, well I hope to see you soon, man. Ice fishing, huh? Carl, you are a legend, man. Okay, talk to you soon, mate. Man. What an absolute legend. A great guy Carl is. Too bad he can't join up in the gang. Okay, let's think. What should I do? I could beg. That might be interesting. I'm sure people would spare me some change. I mean, look at me. I'm disheveled. I can make up some sad story like I'm mentally unstable. Not far from the actual truth. In fact, it's more truth than jest. I've been to the therapist a bunch of times. The psych ward as well. They could never figure out what's wrong with me. They've done loads of studies and stuff. Brain scans. You name it. Oh, I wonder if there is a place for me in the world or if I'm going to end up in an insane asylum. Or on the streets. That's my future. That or jail. Most likely in any event. Seriously, though. What does the future hold for me? What can I do? Am I going to be a con artist for the rest of my life? A thief? In and out of prison? On the run from the law? Man, this is tough work. I have no idea what I'm going to do with myself. All the things I'm good at are illegal. All the things I aspire to be put me in jail. I just can't make it in the outside world. I just can't make an honest living. I mean, I can't say that I have a great employment history. No, I wasn't the best employee, you know. My track record isn't great. I already went over that riot thing. I masterminded that. It took two weeks of planning. Cost the township 200 grand. Got fired for that. Coffee RS, my next cafe job. Fired because I drank 20 cups of coffee in an hour. That was the best. Apparently I was hallucinating and doing a bunch of wacky stuff. I don't remember any of it, but I've read the police report. It's great. I was a limo driver for a day. I mean a day. I drove the limo right through someone's house my first day on the job. After I totaled the limo, I booked it. Changed my name and everything. The cops are still trying to piece that one together. Good luck, suckers. Oh man, why drudge up all these bad memories? It's just making me even more depressed. I mean, the meth is wearing off. What else have I done? Oh geez, we're just scratching the surface. There's like a hundred more that come to mind. You know what, man? I'm just going to be on the streets, man. That's it, man. I'm just going to end up begging on the streets. Let's just get the sign ready. I'll have to move somewhere nice where there's a lot of money. But before I do that, let's just think of a few jobs that I can do. Jeez, this is harder than I thought. I am qualified for nothing. I've been fired from everything. I could be a pimp at a brothel. Interesting work. Well paid. Tough gig to get, I suppose. Plus, I'd have to move to Nevada. Between the brothels and casinos, I'd probably implode. Not a great idea. Oh, what the heck, man. This is tough. Begging works. I don't know what else I could do. I would start selling meth, but I have no clue how to make it. Maybe I'll try to watch some documentaries about it. Seems like interesting work. Oh, man. What else is there? Man, okay. Well, who knows? Maybe this will be all right. I mean, for now, anyway. I guess this is it. I guess this is going to be my life's work. Living from city to city with no permanent address. A vagabond, I think it's called. Where did it all go wrong? I still remember the words of my guidance counselor. Son, just go on government assistance. Make it easy on yourself. I guess everyone saw it coming besides me. God, this is the worst. I know I'm a good criminal, 
Why the hell am I reduced to begging? I mean, I could be trafficking thousands of dollars of cocaine right now, but instead, I'm reliant on the kindness of strangers. What if... What if I made my way down to Mexico? I could get some connections going. I mean, drug prices down there are far, far cheaper. Maybe I can start a drug trafficking organization. Maybe start as a drug mule and work my way up. I could become a player in the drug community, an esteemed individual in the drug trade, have a world-class criminal operation. I'd start my own organization. I'd be rich. I'd live the life of luxury. Man, now that's the life I want. That's it, man. I just want the life, you know? Ah, these are delusions of grandeur. Ain't no way I could pull that off. How am I going to get to Mexico? How am I going to start a criminal enterprise? You have to have talent, skills, organization. You gotta be focused. I don't have the minerals to pull off these lofty criminal aspirations. I'm really lost, man. Is this how it's going to be forever? Forever lost? Man, I'm telling you, I really am disappointed in myself. When I thought about becoming a criminal, I thought it would be easy. But man, crime is hard work. What crimes can I commit? What can I do so I don't have to beg anymore? I could rob a bank. Difficult, but not impossible. I've done it before. It takes minerals to rob a bank. Meth helps, you know, if you get cold feet. That's my go-to method whenever I'm having second thoughts about things. It takes the edge off, you know? Plus it gives you focus like you wouldn't believe. What else can I do? How am I so inept as a criminal? Think, man. You know, I can't think of anything. I mean, what can I do? What's this? Interested in a career in entertainment? Join the circus. We're looking for performers from all backgrounds. Come to beautiful Boise, Idaho. We're auditioning clowns to join the team. The circus? Wait a minute. That sounds like an adventure. I'd have to hitchhike my way to Boise, joining the circus. Maybe the universe is trying to tell me something? Ah, what the hell. It beats begging. Let's do it, man. Let's go to Boise. Think of the kicks I'll get on the road. I'll probably meet some cool people as well. Sounds great. Things are looking up for me. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, what a nice day it is outside. The weather is wonderful, absolutely lovely, a world-class day. It's just a brilliant day. It's just glorious. Did you ever think how the sun came to be? It's a miracle. How did something that hot get up there? Like, man, it's too crazy to believe. My sun, my sun. Okay, the sun is really shining today. I better make sure I have my undershirt on or it will burn my tits. Okay, undershirt, check. Do I have suntan lotion? Nah. 
Whatever. I can use a nice suntan anyway. The hell with it. Right. Okay. Let's think now. How should I start this glorious Tuesday afternoon? Nah. It's still Tuesday morning, I gathered by the sun. I've mastered the skill to read the time by the direction of the sun, like a sundial. You just have to look up. Better than a watch. I mean, who needs a watch anyway? I ain't got nowhere to be. I'm a near-do-well, a drifter, a con artist. You know, recently, I've been thinking about this quote by the great Thomas Jefferson. Every generation needs a new revolution. That's just brilliant. I can't stop thinking about that quote. Every generation needs a new revolution. I mean, what if I, Dickie Jennings III, started a revolution? What if I was a trendsetter, you know, started some kind of movement? But what kind of movement can I start? Man, so many movements have been started. That's the problem with this world. Everyone always beats me to the great ideas. I mean, I have so many ideas, but I find out someone has already beaten me to it. For example, how great would it have been if I started the crystal meth movement, you know? I could have started that. That could have been mine to pioneer. Everyone would know about me. I'd be famous. This is what I'm saying. It would be so cool to start a drug movement, like when LSD was cool during the counterculture movement. Now that was a movement. Man, those guys were onto something. Man. I want to start my own counterculture movement, but how? I want to go to extremes so people take me seriously. Okay, think, man. Let's see here. What about bath salts? I can start a bath salt movement. Now that's a movement. Imagine a whole bunch of people on bath salts. I'd make a name for myself. I'd probably make it in some newspapers. Bath salts are underrated. They're cheap. I mean, you can get them anywhere. Definitely underrated. I don't know why they get a, such a bad reputation. I mean, the last time I was on them, well, the last time I was on them, my neighbors called the cops. Apparently, and I don't remember this, but apparently I was having a conversation with my mailbox for a few hours. Yes, not something I like to recall. But bath salts are all right. Man, they're cool. I mean, people ought to try them. Really see what they're like. I feel you should try everything at least once. That's my mantra. The problem is they are out of fashion with the popular kids. It's kind of a subculture that likes bath salts. I don't think I could convince the people of its charm. I really do have some good things to say about it. I'm not going to lie, though. They are dangerous. I mean, the mailbox thing was only one incident. One time, I took so much and decided to go deep sea diving. You really have to keep track of your doses, or anything goes, you know. But really, for the affordability and the convenience, it's damn near the best value I can think of. I mean, they're great. They just make you do some wacky stuff sometimes. Man, it would be cool to start a movement. I just don't think bath salts are it. Again, I couldn't praise it highly enough, but it's not everybody's cup of tea. But man, is it great. You know, when my dealer isn't answering, that's my backup plan. Get some bath salts and draw myself a bubble bath and have myself a good time. Of course, there are some consequences to it, but hey, nothing fun is without consequences, right? I remember a few years ago on that stuff. I once hitchhiked to Mississippi for no reason at all. I woke up at some guy's farm. I actually stayed and worked for him for a while. Nice fella. I have farming in my blood. Plus, how am I going to convince a whole bunch of people to take bath salts? I can't be a trendsetter. You gotta have ideas. You gotta be revolutionary, man. Okay, let's just chill out for a moment. Oh man, I can't be a trendsetter. You gotta be cool to start a trend, you know? You have to be a visionary. Have a purpose. I wonder how many IQ points I have dropped. 50? 100 from all the times I've abused substances? Man, I've done everything you can think of. 
I've done stuff you wouldn't believe. I've done everything. It's really remarkable. Some damage might have been done to my cognitive functioning. Oh well, I probably didn't have a high IQ to start with. I can't say I was born with great genes. No, I really wasn't blessed with great genes, you know. I wasn't starting with a complete deck of cards. That's my thought about it anyway. I mean, my family history is not all that glowing, you know. Take, for instance, my uncle, Dickie Sr. Yes, we shared the same name. Do you think I was named after that guy? Uncle Dickie works on the farm. Like I said, I have farming in my blood. Farm life wasn't suited for old Uncle Dickie. No. They found him sleeping with horses or something. The family tried to cover it up, but it didn't work. You believe that? He's doing time, like 10 years for animal cruelty up in county prison. And he's just the start, man. Just the start. I think my family lived near this radiation tower, and I think it had an impact on their brain functioning because all of my family are nuts. Most, if not all, are locked up or in an insane asylum. Take my cousin, Joshua, Dickie's senior son. I guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree for that fella. They caught him running around the block naked just for kicks, just to see people's reaction. Could you imagine seeing some random guy walking around the street naked in broad daylight? I mean, my whole family are. They're out there, man. One day they said Joshua cut off his, you know, John Thomas and threw it in the woods. We still don't know why. Just for kicks, I suppose. That was always his response. Man, Joshua was really out there. I think he's do also doing time for some other crime. What did he do again? All right, he stole a police cruiser for kicks and had a crazy police chase cross state lines. I'm telling you, that guy is wild. Man, I'm telling you, they are a twisted bunch. I mean, I can't say I haven't had my share of family troubles. Yeah, that bath salt movement was stupid. I really can't believe I even entertained that idea. I really don't want anything to do with drugs. My track record is not great on them. I remember my last binge on crystal meth. All said and done, I blew through my inheritance. Two million dollars in cash in six months with an exotic dancer I met in Vegas. I mean, how did I blow two million in six months? I wish I could tell you, but it's a complete blur. That was the last of my family money. Yes, my family are out there. But we had generational money. Apparently, my great-grandfather founded a bunch of hotel chains and made millions. Slowly but surely, a $100 million fortune was blown from generation to generation. A $2 million was the last of it. No, seriously, though. My family can't hold on to money for nothing, man. How the hell do you squander a $100 million family fortune? Oh, what about my brother? Rick. Yeah, we share the same name. We were both born Richard, but I changed mine to Dickie, and he's Rick. Why we're brothers and share the same name is a question I've never been able to answer. I told you, my family are whacked out. I mean, who names their children the same name? It makes no sense. Anyway, Rick inherited the same as me, two million dollars. What did he do with it? Every drug known to man. He's done more than me, if you can believe that. They found him rowing a canoe down the Hudson River at 2 in the morning. Apparently he was high in something. I think he was into ketamine at the time, and thought he was a part of the Revolutionary War. He bought a cannon and everything. I think they found a rifle in the boat. Can you imagine? He had to have a bunch of counseling after that one. They still haven't let him out of the psych ward. God knows he tried to escape. I'm telling you, my family was a whacked out bunch. I'm like the golden child compared to the rest of them. A movement, a movement, what can I start? I'm stuck, I can't think of anything. I really want to start something. What can I start? I'm wired up today. Did I take my medication this morning? No, okay, that explains a lot. Whatever, I'm through with those meds. Well, I can't really think of a cool movement right now. I'll try, but it's not easy. What can people get into? 
I guess trendsetters are ambitious folks. My only ambition is to own a gentleman's club or something. That or sell meth. Honestly, nothing else holds my interest. I really am not ambitious. I don't know why that is. I mean, shouldn't I be motivated? Shouldn't I want to achieve something? Doing bath salts and starting revolutions are not becoming? No. It's not a great way to go through life. Man, where are the family genetics when I need them? Oh wait, that's right. I'm probably doing well for myself in comparison to my family. Hell, at least I'm not in jail yet. You know how there are families with the first to go to college? I'm the first not to go to jail. I'm telling you, they all got locked up. Either that, or they conned their way into an insane asylum. All of them. They're all con artists. Oh man, I really have no ambition to do anything. Every time I think of something, I just can't follow through with it. I don't know what it is. I wish I was more ambitious because I think I could really start a trend. What's going to be my life's work? I could start a cult. Kind of like a trend, but different. I once read about this guy, Charlie, I think his name was. He hypnotized a bunch of people and started a cult. Now that sounds like an interesting fellow. Someone to admire if you ask me. That's what I want. To start a movement, a community, a following. To be revered as a leader. I want people to have a poster of me on their wall. You know, become a legendary anarchist. I know I'm onto something, I just can't quite get it. This movement thing is the best. But how could I get people to join me? God knows how I'll end up. What does my future hold? What's my purpose? Will I end up like my Uncle Dickie? Or like Joshua? Or Rick? Hell, I can name them all. They're all doing time. I gotta think of something. Seriously, what is my ambition? What are my life goals? What am I good at? What am I gifted at? I'm great at doing drugs. I probably should have taken my meds today. Screw it. What are they good for? No. I'm going off my meds completely. They only stifle my creativity. I haven't had this much fun in a while. I'm enjoying myself. I like myself when I'm off my meds. What else can I do? What do I want out of life? What would be cool? I mean, I would like to join a motorcycle gang, you know, just travel around doing crazy stuff with a group of guys, cause general anarchy. Now that's the life. Maybe I should start my own motorcycle gang, call it Dickie's Gang or something. Do some cool stuff like sell meth and cause anarchy. Sounds wonderful. I guess that's why it's hard to start a trend. I can't communicate my ideas to people. I don't think people get me. I'm pretty off the cuff. What's the expression? Out of the box? Anyway, you know what I'm saying. I'm lucky people can't hear what I'm thinking. I'd be locked up without an afterthought. I really should see a therapist. Well, it's not like I haven't tried seeing a shrink. Oh, I've been court ordered. You know how messed up you have to be for a judge to order you to see counseling? I mean, you got to be a twisted guy. I... Rachel, yeah, that was her name, my therapist. I knew she wouldn't understand me. I mean, this woman really couldn't see my side to any argument. She filled notebooks, and I mean notebooks about our sessions. She said she was very disturbed by my way of thinking. We just were on a polar ends of the spectrum. Am I in the spectrum? I could be, but that's another topic for another day. I've been tested. It seems likely. I mean, something's not right, right? I'm working on it, though. No, but she really couldn't get her head around to my way of thinking. For example, I told her about my plans to start a revolution. She just wasn't having it. She completely shut it down. She said it was a waste of time and also dangerous. Like, that's the point. 
Oh, she didn't like that answer. But really, why not start a revolution? Why not? I can't think of one reason why not to. It's better than doing regular life. Regular life holds no interest to me. I want something more. It got bad at the end, though. She questioned everything. She upped my medication. I was on so many antipsychotics, I was a walking pharmacy. At one time, I was on a hundred pills a day. Rachel also thought about sending me to the psych ward, you know, sectioning me. I conned my way out of that one, naturally. I was taking 15 pills every hour or something. My doctor said I was an unusual case. I think her sessions took their toll on her. I think she ended up having a breakdown after our sessions. I think she left the profession for good. Man, what's the point anyway? I'm not a trendsetter. I'm no trailblazer, no pioneer. I can barely tie my shoes in the morning. Ah, uh, what's the point? My fate is sealed. I'm either gonna end up in prison or in the loony bin. I'm telling ya. Okay, so what do I do? What should I do with myself? I gotta think. I know I can start doing some cool stuff if I put my mind to it. What if I started some kind of Ponzi scheme, you know? Fraud people add up a few million dollars. Hey, that's not a bad idea, you know? Become a world-class criminal? Sounds like fun. I've got no other alternatives. Like I said, I'm a born con artist. That's all I know. I mean, wouldn't it be great to be a criminal for a little while? Make a whole bunch of money with some kind of scam? Maybe I can get away with it. What kind of scam, though? I could live the life of my dreams. Nice mansion, luxury cars, women would take an interest. I mean, I'd be on top of the world, like a drug kingpin. I could actually afford to do my favorite drugs again. I've been priced out of the market. These drugs aren't cheap, you know. These dealers have a monopoly on the trade. It's not like you could go to a dollar store for them. You could try inhaling glue or something if you're in a bind. That's my usual go-to method. That or paint thinner. Bath salts work too, but they're the most dangerous. Maybe if I'm a good enough criminal, I could buy my own private island or something. Call it Dickey's Island. Maybe somewhere on the Atlantic Ocean, you know, near Hawaii. Oh man, that sounds great. I mean, that's the kind of life I want. I don't want a life of just doing what everyone else is doing. I want a larger than life lifestyle. That's the life of my dreams. But look where I'm at now. The closest island I'll ever get to is Rikers or Alcatraz. It would have been cool to be locked up in Alcatraz, come to think of it. That's actually one place I wouldn't mind doing time. On a tiny island on the San Francisco Bay. It would be rad to do jail time there. Yeah, it would have been cool to do time there at Alcatraz. But whatever, it's closed down. Ah, oh, man. What the hell am I going to do with myself? I'm telling you, the only thing I aspire to be is a criminal. I can't make an honest living. I'm a born con man. I mean, how can I get to the top? Ah, these are the fantasies of a madman. Ain't no way I've got the minerals to pull off some of these schemes. I'm telling you, I'm inept in every way. I ain't got no talent or skills. Maybe my fate is going to be like Joshua's. In and out of psych wards and prisons. That's my future. Alright, I gotta start to think positive. What can I do? I'm telling you, being a world-class scam artist is the stuff of dreams. There's nothing I'd rather be than a scam artist. I really don't want to do time, you know. I'd get bored easily. There's nothing to do in jail besides, well, you know. That's really my only hobby, if you follow me. I'm world class at that. Real life, I'm just not cut out for, I'm telling you. Okay, let's think. What kind of crimes can I commit? I could build a pirate ship, you know, start robbing people on the open seas. I bet I'd make a fortune. But I'd have to deal with the Coast Guard. They've got ships and helicopters and stuff. But what a life that could be. Living on my boat. 
have a bunch of criminals on deck, robbing people on the open sea. Now we're talking, man. This is the life of my dreams. If only I was born in a different era. People used to get away with that kind of stuff. But now with the helicopters and stuff, I'd probably get caught. But that sounds great. Man, my pirate ship would be great. I'd be a famous pirate, you know. The whole world would know about me. Maybe I can operate in foreign waters where there isn't a heavy police presence. You know, steal from massive cargo ships in the Indian Ocean or something. Now that's something that gets me excited. Robbing people in the open waters. I can see it now. Plus, I'd get to travel the world. I'd get to see the world. I'd be rich. Ain't gonna do too much. People would want to know me. I'd make a name for myself. Kind of like Christopher Columbus, but with an edge. That would be a great life. The only problem is, I don't have a dollar to my name. I guess if I didn't squander my inheritance in Vegas, I'd be able to build my ship. Man, the cost of brothels really adds up over time. I went to Vegas and lost all of my money, not gambling. You believe that? I spend it all at the brothels and other various gentlemen's clubs. Well, I guess I would have squandered that money anyway. What's that funny quote? I've spent all my money on women, alcohol, and drugs, and the rest I wasted. I love that quote. That's a legendary quote. I just love that. I should take credit for that quote. Who's gonna check? Honestly, all I want to do is have a nice place to live and do crystal meth. Now that sounds like a good time, you know. I gotta start making money. I guess I could become a drug dealer, you know. Smuggle drugs overseas and stuff. I wonder if I could attend some networking event or something. I could check the internet. Imagine being a drug dealer. I'd probably make millions. If I do that for a year, I'm set. After that, I'd retire and live on an island or something. That's what I want to do. Of course, there is a possibility of jail, but like I said, I'm probably going there anyway, so it ain't that big of a deal. Do you know the biggest thing that holds criminals back? It's the fear of jail. For me, I don't mind jail. I honestly don't care about going. My whole family is there. It's kind of like my second home. I'm kind of looking forward to it in all honesty. However, there is a moral side to it all. I want to live a clean life. I don't want to wrong people, and I think it would be good to be the first in my family who doesn't have to go to prison. Oh man, this is what I'm saying. There is no end to my anguish. I just can't seem to figure out what I want to do with myself. Everything interesting to me involves breaking the law, which is fine, but maybe I can get rich in a legal way. I need a change of pace. I need to see the world. You know what? Maybe I'll move out to California, live on the beach or something. I guess I can figure out what I can do out there. Yeah, I need to change things up. Living here is no way to live. I gotta get out to California. But how? I guess I'm gonna have to hitchhike. I guess I can just be homeless out there for a while. It wouldn't be that bad. I mean, you got the beach, good weather year-round. You know, it's not a bad idea. Just set up a tent in the ocean and you're set. Cops won't bother me. Man, if I'm going to be homeless and it's looking like that's the way it's going for me, I might as well live in a nice climate. If I stay in this town, I'm going to end up in jail. I gotta start a new life. Have a whole new personality. Become a new person. Hell, I can even change my name. I kind of have a bad reputation around here. It doesn't help that your uncle is well known for the animal thing. Bestiality runs in my family. That kind of stuff lingers on, you know. People don't forget. I think people are aware of me in town. You know what I'm saying? They've heard stories about me. I catch the neighbors giving me sideway glances every now and then. The cops have a file on me in all likelihood. In fact, I know they do. They circle my block constantly. Maybe I'll move to a new town and change my name. Instead of being Dickie Jennings, I'd be... Uh, I don't know. 
I can change my name to anything. I can name myself anything. I've got a bunch of aliases. Okay, change of plans. I'm moving out to California. I'm going to change my name to something. I don't know what yet. Maybe have like three first names. Like uh, Richard, John, Stephen. That would throw people off. Having three first names. That would be fantastic. Well, I guess I gotta start hitchhiking. I guess I'm going wherever the road takes me. Think of the kicks I'll get on the road. I can't wait. Maybe I'll meet some con artists along the way to show me the ropes. Or maybe join a biker gang. I'm excited. Thank you.